What's going on, guys? Jason here, and I'm bringing you guys an update because I wasn't able to provide a video for last week. I do apologize for that because I have been quite busy with my current job right now, but also I have an amazing announcement to make. This is partially the reason why I wasn't able to have a video for you guys last week, but I want to make a video today to share that I am a ambassador for ADP List. Now, if you guys don't know what ADP List is, it's a service online where designers like yourself can go on, meet other designers within the world, and get mentorship. It could be really about anything. And I'm really excited to be a part of the ambassadorship because I truly believe in the mission that ADP List has with democratizing mentorship and really putting mentorship out there, making it accessible for others. And I wanted to make this video not only to announce it, but also just to share my story on how ADP List has really affected my transition into UX design. I truly believe that ADP List has been a huge, huge factor in terms of my success transitioning from public relations into UX design. And so I want to shed a little bit of light on that. So if you enjoyed this content, make sure you subscribe and stick around as I tell you guys my story. All right. So I actually knew about ADP List for a while before I actually started getting into it. I forgot who exactly introduced it to me, but I found ADP List and I made an account and I was very overwhelmed with the amount of people that was on ADP List. Now there's over 2000 mentors and for anyone who's going into ADP List for the first time, I get it. It's super intimidating. There's so many people, you don't know who to choose and you start feeling overwhelmed. And because of that feeling of overwhelmingness, you end up not taking action. So I'm going to provide a couple of tactics that have helped me, um, that have helped me get through ADP list that you can implement. And this also kind of ties in with my story going through ADP list. So my first ADP list mentor was Wesley Hong. And I'm going to leave a link to his profile in the description. He is actually someone who I knew about way before ADP list because he actually makes YouTube videos. And so because he made YouTube videos, I already knew what Wesley was like. I knew his personality, how he sounded, how he looked like, and it kind of made it easy for me to want to connect with him because as soon as I found out he was ADP list, I booked a session with him and the rest is history. So he was my first ever mentor and it didn't happen instantly when it came to booking a session with an ADP list mentor. It actually took me a month until I finally booked my first one. And me and him, we just chatted about, you know, his career transition to UX, my career transition, and trying to see if there were any parallels and try to give insight based off of that. So Wesley Hong was my first. The next person I met with was someone from a design buddies event. I connected with him and then I later found out that he was a mentor and the list goes on and on and on. There's so many ways to get connected with these mentors and ADP list just makes it super easy. So if you're looking for someone as your first mentor, I recommend checking who you watch on YouTube and see if they are on ADP list because the thing that I feel like stops a lot of people is the fear of the unknown. They don't know how the person's like. And so if you can visualize and see how the person's like, it's just gonna make it easier. Which brings me to my second point of using design events to find mentors. So one of the mentors that I visit frequently, Jeremy Miller, I actually found him through a whiteboard challenge workshop. And he was the facilitator of my event. And I really liked the way he ran the event, he seemed really friendly, super chill, and turns out he was on ADP list. Booked that session with him, me and him really clicked, and 
he's someone that I see on a pretty, pretty uh, weekly basis. So, you know, utilizing those events to find people who you vibe with, I think is so important. And the last way I go ahead and find mentors is just personal recommendations. I have a friend who also uses ADP list and she recommended me some mentors that she thought would vibe with me because she knows my personality. She knows how I am. And she also knows that I love meeting some Filipinos in the community. So she connected me with a product designer who happens to be Filipino and me and him just, you know, we vibed. So again, it's going to be in the description. I hope these people are but I wanted to make this quick video, just sharing you guys that those insights because I know ADP lists can be super, super overwhelming, but I do think it's an incredible tool. It's a huge asset. And with the mentors who I've talked to and you know expressed my interest in ADP lists, they said that it is a total blessing and I couldn't agree more. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Really excited about this ambassadorship, this next phase in my UX journey, and I hope you guys keep following. Peace out, y'all.